Hello and welcome back to another Superior Comic Show reaction video, the second of many to come. Uh, so Dean done his reaction on the Bumblebee trailer, which you can check out being our most recent videos, and I'll put an info card somewhere up here to let you see that. So today I'm going to be reacting to the Dark Phoenix uh, trailer, and I've heard a lot of good things, a lot of bad things about this. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Anyone else find that quite ominous? Like McAvoy, mate, are you playing Charles Xavier or are you back in Split? I protected her. Ooh. I don't know, it's giving me a bit of, uh, creasing me out a little bit, man. But in the comics, uh, Professor X has always been a bit of a creepy dude. But um, <clears throat> so far, I'm liking the young Jean. You know, I'm liking that. I like that little reaction between them where she's asking, can you fix me? And uh, he's like, you're not broken. Which, you know, is a really common thread when it comes to mutants in comic books and movies. So, uh, let's get on. It looks like we're about to have a collision here. There's another word for that. I came looking for answers. You feel like you don't belong here. You don't. Was that Storm with an umbrella? Why in the name of God does Storm need an umbrella? She literally controls the weather. Just make it stop raining. You know what I mean? Like, why does Storm need an umbrella? Tell, tell me. They can't begin to comprehend what you are. She's changing. And what? You didn't come here looking for answers. You came here looking for permission. Jean. Okay, right, so far this trailer hasn't really hugely impressed me. And I don't, I, I don't think that was Storm with the umbrella before. It might have been, but that right there, the showing of Jean Grey's powers where she just. Oof, fuck the police. That was pretty badass, I like that. Rage. Alright, I know the, these uh, younger X-Men movies have gotten a lot of shit, but McAvoy as Xavier and Fassbender as Magneto, I'm sorry, it's, they're so good at them roles, I feel bad for them that they're in these car, car wrecks of a movie, but uh, that one there, you're always sorry Charles, nobody cares, oof, oof, tell it Michael, tell it. Yes. Sorry, sorry, it was. Storm again, with an umbrella. No reason whatsoever. Just saying, no reason whatsoever. Like if Charles Xavier went to the shop and came back with hair conditioner. Just, just, just no point. Okay, um, 
Pause that there. Okay, so yeah, and um, initial reaction. Honestly, the same as usual these X-Men films. I haven't 100% enjoyed any of them since I think First Class. Um, I think the weird thing is, I think I don't think it's the casting choices. And yeah, I know some people give uh, J Law shit, but I'm a fan of J Law, so fight me. <laughs> but I do agree that J-Law just seems to switch back from Jennifer Lawrence to blue Jennifer Lawrence too much, doesn't really use Mystique's powers all that well. Um, I, I like the build up in the trailer of Jean starting to lose control, you know, it brings it right back to when she was a kid and she's first enrolled in the school. And right up to now where she's trying hard to control her powers. Um, see, The Dark Phoenix was such an iconic book for a lot of people that I feel if... Fox messed this up, I'd say it'd be a final nail in the coffin, but they're, they're gone basically now, so <clears throat> I'm, just, I'm gonna go see the movie, I'm not extremely hyped for it Again, the casting choices, I mentioned there, Michael Fassbender as Magneto and James McAvoy as Xavier were fantastic casting choices um, Sophie Turner as Jean Grey, young Jean Grey, yeah, you know what, I'd buy it, I'd buy into it I think Sarah Ronan would be better, but that's just me repping the Irish. Uh, yeah, overall impressions in the trailer. I'm not too hyped. There was some moments that looked exciting. The car wreck looked visually spectacular. Obviously, the X jet shooting off into space looked impressive. The costumes. I like seeing the X Men in proper costumes rather than just the black leather they wore in the first X movies. Uh, <clears throat> so obviously, this might be like the first X Men movie in a long time Wolverine hasn't played a part in. But, yeah, I don't know, I just, I haven't got that much, Fox for me is like Sony, I haven't got that much faith in them, and I don't really see how they're going to turn it around, especially now this is probably like their last X movie, unless New Mutants is still getting made. Um, the storm with the Umbrella thing still annoying me, and <clears throat> James, them writing James McAvoy's Xavier as his character in Split. Uh, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty bang average trailer, to be honest, uh, for the big reveal and the big hype behind it, I didn't see too much to get me excited. And I'm really jealous that Dean got a trailer that he's really hyped for now, you know what I mean? I wanted to do kind of jumping around and shit like he doing, but I didn't get a chance. So yeah, that's my reaction to Dark Phoenix trailer. I think I read the trailer. Uh, hype level out of 10. 4. Uh, hopefully they do better with their second trailer. And what... Well, We'll see, we'll be reacting to that one too, so yeah, keep, uh, keep an eye on our channel and don't forget to like and subscribe and let us know what you want to see us react to. And uh, we will be putting these up on a shop soon if anyone wants a Superior Comic Show t-shirt. Shameless plug. Uh, thanks for watching. Peace.